Hey guys, happy Friday. I'm going to work and it's about 9.54 in the morning and I decided to go ahead and do a little vlog because what I realized is that like I never vlog like during the week or just, you know, kind of when I'm by myself. So, and don't mind that they're outside, you know, my apartment like uh, doing the, the lawn and stuff. I swear they're doing it like every week. But, let's see. Um... So right now I'm just gonna get ready, do my little makeup. So of course, you know, I'll speed through majority of this process. Christian officially moved over to the toddler class in daycare. So he is in the toddler room and I'm so excited. They kept like, I was kind of annoyed with the situation because they kept saying, oh, you know, um, literally like about almost two months ago because Christian's what 13 months now so almost like two months ago they started off in fact it was two months he was 11 months old he hadn't even made a year yet and they kept saying oh um Christian will move over he's gonna be moving over soon get him ready get him off of a bottle blah 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 you know really work with him and stuff like that so every week it's always a new story it's always oh he'll move in one week oh he'll move in two weeks so Finally, this Monday, this uh, Monday this week, I talked to the like manager lady because the director wasn't there, and I was like, you know, I just basically told her I don't want him in the infant room any longer because, you know, there was nothing for him to do in there. He was bored. He hated being in that room. He would cry, and he knows the difference. Like when we take him to daycare, he knows the difference of the infant room and the toddler room. So I'm excited about that now. Um, let's see. Well, something else I was about to say. Oh, my hair. My twist out was really, really just bad. Like, I did this, um, not last night, the night before last, so Wednesday night. And honestly, I didn't feel like trying to just do it over last night. So I said, you know, to heck with it. And I will try to do it better tonight. But what happened was I did my little twist out and everything in my hair. Um, you know, I co-washed it, uh, twisted it up. I used like, um, I used Cantu shea, shea butter stuff and, um, coconut oil and it just came out. It was cool and everything, but when I took it down yesterday, it was still damp. So that like just messed up everything. So it's been four minutes now. I'll stop rambling and basically I'm just going to continue doing makeup, you know, I'll keep recording it and uh, I gotta go to Target, Babies R Us, and hopefully Bath and Body Works before work and I work at 12. So and I'm really happy. I love Fridays. Fridays is like my very early slash short day at work. Um, yeah so we'll talk more about work later. Alright all finished. Okay I'm all finished now and I know it's like looking funky on camera because this is just my vlogging camera. I don't have, you know, the whole lighting situation set up properly. So, I'm just wearing this Love Lauren lipstick on my lips by MAC. And it's like a pink mauve color. And then I just did like a quick little, you know, try to call it my five minute face. But the brows like alone take like five minutes. So, and yes, I do need a eyebrow wax. But this is what we have to work with for now. Okay, so here's what I'm wearing today to work. It's just a little, um, my little famous denim jacket, my denim vest. I love wearing this. And then just a maxi dress, which I feel like I got uh, shorter because for some reason, like, all my maxi dresses are just, like, really dragging the floor now. So, I don't know what that's about. And I do have on my um, sports waist trainer or waist center, whatever you want to call it. Let me see. Well, I have like kind of like some shorts underneath, but it's still kind of raunchier. Let me see. Okay, y'all see like this little. Yeah, so that's what I'm wearing underneath. And this one is in a size um, extra large. And I have been able to get it on the second bar. I'm not wearing it on the second bar today because I really like to wear it on the second bar when I work out. But like kind of every day you saw where it's still on the first one. So um, it's time that I do, it's time for me to size down now to like a large. I really thought that I still had my little thing that I could place you guys on the dashboard and I can vlog. I don't know what happened to it. So I'm just going to say this real quick um, while I'm on this little non-busy street. But what I was going to say is that um, 
when I was saying, oh, you know, talking about my job and stuff, not to sound like I'm ranting or anything, but you know, it's just been really hard for me to get a job because I'm so over like the job that I'm doing now. It's no like, I'm not using skills or anything like that. Like it's just so basic and it's like a, like a call center entry level thing and i've been there for two over two years now and i'm just really really over that position it doesn't pay enough and you know it's like i went through school did all this stuff and i still can't get anywhere so it's really kind of frustrating i've really just changed up my um you know like application strategy since i've um, like this past week or so and I've, you know, included cover letters and kind of reaching out to recruiters and things like that. So we'll see, you know, hopefully something can come from this. And, um, and then even just the shift that I work is horrible. That's why, like, I love Fridays because at least I work earlier and stuff. Like, I work 12 to 5.30 on Fridays. And, um, like, Saturday, uh, Monday through Thursday, I work 4 to 10. And it just sucks because, you know, I can't be the, the mom that I want to be for Christian. Like, it's not, you know, I'm not here dropping him off in the morning and picking him up and, you know, come home and cook dinner and get him in the bed. Like, you know Emmanuel of course he helps me with all of that and I'm very appreciative of that but it's just really like it's not how I want my life to be so I mean I've vented about it like on Instagram before so I mean if you follow me on there then I sure I'm sure you've seen that post it was like some months back but I mean if you guys have any like tips for me you know just with job searching and things like that definitely you know let me know um, you can send me like an inbox message or anything like that or leave it down below um, because it's like I really want something like entry level, like, you know, recruiting or human resources or like accounts payable, accounts receivable, account manager, stuff like that. Like, I'm, I refuse to go to like another call center. I just, I will not. Like, no. I don't care if it is eight to five. Like, I'm not, I didn't go to school for that. So that's just ridiculous. So, um, let me go so I won't have any wrecks or anything. Why do diapers have to be so high? Like, they're just so high. And normally, you know, like I coupon for diapers and everything. I mean, I still try not to pay like full price for any diapers, um, but I'm like on a couponing break right now just because, you know, I'm focusing on like getting a job and things like that. So I really don't have time to dedicate to the couponing, which I'm gonna start back, I said like at the end of summer but these are the diapers that christian wears the little mover size three and the thing is he has a box of size four in the closet and i start putting him in fours for this week to see how it work out but the fours he's not exactly he's like he's like 19.5 or 20 pounds and you know the threes go up to 28 pounds and the fours start at 22 pounds so it really didn't work out too well but i'm just gonna get him these size threes they're $42.99. I have a couple of coupons. $2.50 off, which I mean it's not so much. And then I have um, a baby Zaras one for $8 off. So that'll still be $32.49, which is I mean a lot, but for 156 diapers. Divide by 156. So we're looking at 20 almost 21 cents per diaper, which I mean, if I pay full price, forty-two ninety-nine divided by one fifty-six, then we're looking at twenty, like twenty-eight cents. So I'm saving like eight cents a diaper. So I mean, I guess it's a savings. You know, it is what it is. Eight times one fifty-six. So I'm saving like twelve dollars and forty-eight cents. But I don't know how that's possible considering. Now I'm confused. Never mind, I confused myself. It's because I rounded up. That's why it got confusing. Okay, yesterday was a pretty good like eating day for Christian. He ate his food really well. Like um, he had chicken and broccoli for lunch and for breakfast he had um, a little cereal bar and we have cereal bar and um, applesauce pouch and he ate those really well and I mean y'all let me know if I'm just rambling too much because I can start you know I can really really talk and I know you know sometimes vlogs can be boring if you're just like talking 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 so y'all let me know you know if y'all like vlogs where I'm just talking about stuff and telling you about my life and stuff or vlogs you know where I'm just out and like specifically doing things you know I mean or like a mixture of both just let me know so 
you know, so it's not like a waste of time and stuff. So even though I'm not like, you know, actively couponing right now, I'm still doing things, you know, that, that like, that contribute to my couponing, if that makes sense. So, the thing that y'all should um, download this one app, it's called Shopkick. Um, you can see it here. So let me see, I'm gonna walk into the store and I'll get points. So, watch. So see, it gave me 30 kicks. So it just gave me 30 kicks for walking into the store. And like right now at the point that I am, and right now I'm able to, I think I have enough kicks to get a, um, a $5 Target gift card, let's see. But I'm really trying to save them up to get something like really good. Yeah, I have enough right now. Hold on. I think 1,250 kicks. Okay. 1,250. Yeah, so I have 1722. So it's like right now I have enough to get kicks. I mean, and it's just when you walk into the store or you can scan different products and things like that. And it's like different stores. And sometimes they'll do promotions where you get like, you know, 100 kicks for walking into the store that day. So when they do those, I really try to go. And, um, hold that guy. That's funny, he just kind of bumped into the thing. I see him at the gym, he goes to the gym I work out at. But um, I'll leave a link down below so you can um, get the app and you sign up, you know, get the app. And um, I'm not sure if it's on other phones. I know it's for iPhone and I don't know if it's on like Android. But I'll leave a link down below for you guys. It's about, it's about 6.09 and i picked christian up from daycare about i don't know i was in there for a little bit talking to his teacher and right now we're headed to walmart to get the other things i needed to get and he's sleeping i think you can see him in the back i'm not sure but he's very very fussy it's his time for like a second nap so he is taking his nap and so today they said that he had a good day at daycare he um I said he ate his food really well. He had beans and cornbread for lunch and bananas. And then they had, um, for snack, he had like tortilla and turkey. And they said he really didn't care for the tortilla, but he ate all the turkey. So since little Tubby is sleeping, I just put him in the ergo. And um, yeah, he'll stay asleep, hopefully. Since he was really, really tired. And I just got a notification on my phone that um, you get 30 kicks for walking into this Walmart today. Look who found a PLE. Look who found a PLE. It saved a dollar on any bird's eye. And so I used those for my meal prep. So I found this. I found this one on a random PLE. Like something that I don't eat. Like Brussels sprouts. But it's for any variety. any Anything. So I'm so excited. Found me a dollar off, and I was trying to check the other ones, and I'm just not seeing it. So I think my broccoli's gonna be like 98 cents, which is awesome, because it's like a family size bag. Yeah, see, I don't see any more pillies. I feel like the couponers already took them off. What is the problem? What is the problem? Where are you going? Where'd you put mommy's phone? Can you go find it? Can you go find it? Where'd you put mommy's phone? Christian, come here. Y'all like his little outfit? I got it at Target. Come on, daddy. What are we whining for? Y'all, I feel like he's hit the terrible twos early. Like, he's such a whiner. Oh my gosh. Daddy, here you go. No. What's with the dramatics, baby? Why are we being dramatic? You're not going to talk? Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. So, shout out to Gabe and Babe TV. 
I, they're one of my like favorite vloggers. Wow, why did it pause like that? But they are one of my like favorite vloggers. I always watch their videos. So shout out to them. And Christian loves Little Siege. Whenever he sees him, he just like stops and stares. If I'm watching it like on the computer or on TV. So here he is. He's eating Din Din. You like it? Or is Din Din eating you? You eating Din Din? Eating dinner. He got some barbecue chicken pizza. And he has some peaches. I'm going to give him some more peaches soon. But I want him to kind of eat the, the chicken. I mean the pizza too. Because Christian will just eat fruit all day. Which is a good thing. But he needs to eat other stuff too. So I went to this little place um, called Pie 5. And I got this little barbecue chicken pizza. It's not the best. In, it's not like the healthiest thing to get. But it is, you know, obviously a better alternative than getting like... You know uh, other kind of pizza and Christian's just right there I can see him don't worry because I know how y'all can be sometimes like I should be right there watching him see he's right there daddy daddy so here's everything that I bought from Target and Walmart today got him some Tots juice cereal bars got two kinds um, strawberry banana and then strawberry and then at Walmart they had these on clearance um, a mixed berry kind so that's like a good little breakfast, you know, this with like a piece of fruit and milk. That's a good breakfast. Hold on, Daddy. I got applesauce, some fruit snacks, um, peaches, and then the other fruits right here. Tropical mango, mandarin orange. I showed y'all these things earlier, but it's all good. I got my chicken breast for meal prep, tilapia for meal prep, um, strawberries. I got him some of these little cheeses because um, I know you know he kind of he needs dairy stuff in his diet besides like just milk so he eats yogurt he's not really a big cheese baby so um, I got this other kind before but he didn't like it so I got these little cheese shapes um, a couple of pouches these are ones that have uh, Greek yogurt and some bananas juice that's mainly for Emmanuel because I don't drink juice or whatever I just try to stick to water um, broccoli for meal prep and I have some other uh, vegetables in the freezer already so I didn't need to get more of those I have some green beans and another pack of broccoli let's see grapes I got a probiotic juice because Emmanuel is sick like right now he just got off work about like 45 minutes ago at 7 and like last night you know he was so he was just like sweating he was so hot and he started feeling better then he felt better and like he started feeling better then he felt bad again he feels didn't feel better like it was kind of like a cycle so he was like forget it he was just gonna go to the ER because you know he works at the hospital so he just went to like the little um ER well I think he went to like the emergency part um when he got off so he's in there right now his his um what are they called their vitals they're kind of high so you know we'll see what's going on with him and uh so I got this juice you know because I just got over being sick and I don't want to get sick again so I'm gonna take some probiotic juice and then I got Christian some turkey breast, yogurt, um, some oatmeal for Christian, some clementines, and then his milk, um, whole milk. And then I got 1%, uh, I mean zero fat free milk for my um, Herbalife. So I will be starting that back, getting back on my meal prep guys, getting back on for real. Gonna do that again next week. And next week I plan on making the video about my fitness journey and all of that as well and talking about my trainer and all of that. Do you see Siege, baby? Hey. Almost good you uh, say yeah? Out. <gasps> Daddy! You eating so good, man. Hmm, let mommy give you some more peaches. <laughs> Gotta clean up that juice. I didn't mean for the juice to come out. I thought I drained it, but obviously I didn't drain it well. But he is a baby and he will, you know, it's cool. It is about 9, it's 9.40 and Emmanuel's still at the hospital. He just got a shot. They said he, that, um, he got a shot and then they're going to give him some medicine also. Um, Christian cried and cried and cried his little buns off I don't know what was going on with him but he cried and cried gave him a bath he was crying even when I held him he was still crying so he's been asleep about 45 minutes now let's see can you see him 
there he is he's in his room sleeping all right so what i was saying was i'm about to go to bed and honestly i don't know what my hair is gonna do i know i need to redo this because this is not good but dealing with my hair is like a second like part-time job it's just so much so i don't know what i'm gonna do about my hair and i'm going to edit this vlog and have it up tomorrow and i might vlog tomorrow but it seems like i need to get another battery because my battery was like kind of dying um throughout the day so we might try to see if i can find one like on ebay or something but i'm just going to edit the vlog and emmanuel finally like left the hospital and um you know so he should be okay and yeah um, so I'll see you babes tomorrow. Bye!